Hey guys, this is Eric Tutorials, and uh, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this um, Sigma 4D logo. And as you see here on my background, and also as you probably have seen my um, speed art. So yeah, a lot of people, not a lot, but quite a few people actually requested to, for, for me to make a tutorial on this. And yeah, I'm making a tutorial. So uh, there's a material, this blue material right here. Um, you can, I can recreate it. It's too complicated. It would take a long time, and I won't probably m memorize how to recreate it. But I can provide you guys with a download link for this material. So I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to create them this material, but I'm gonna be showing. But I am gonna include the download link so you can download this material. So basically, when you download the material, you're gonna have a uh, Sigma 4D R13 file, and you just open it, and it opens in Sigma 4D R13. If you don't have Sigma 4D R13, download it on my website. But anyways, let's get started. Um, first of all, let's create two spheres. Okay, one, two. All right, move one uh, one sphere away from the other, and make sure there's a quite a bit of a gap in between those. And then let's grab a meta meta ball, meta ball, whatever. <laughs> I can't say it properly, but whatever. Yeah, so it's in this uh, icon here, in this drop drop icon. Just select it, select the two spheres, and drop them down to the meta ball. Make sure there's a a down arrow and let go. Now select the meta ball and go to editor subdivision and uh, decrease this one to 5. If you decrease it any more than that it's probably gonna leg out and take the second sphere and move it a little bit more away from the first sphere about there that's about good and uh, let's create another sphere so another sphere uh, increase this one and make sure there's uh, there's not a lot of space that oops that um, the meter ball overlaps so so it looks like, uh, about the same way as this here uh, just make sure that you follow the steps that I'm doing here. Don't make it too large and don't make it too small. So about here, about there. And uh, with the sphere selected, uh, decrease or excuse me, increase the segments to 125. And I wouldn't go any more than that because uh, it would just get really laggy. Anyways, let's render this so it doesn't look like anything yet. But uh, now let's grab a bull, same tab where you got the meter ball, you get bull, and just select it. And then take the meter ball and sphere and drag it under bull. And it's supposed to work now. Now let's render this again. And you can see that there's a hole inside the sphere. And to make it look like uh, this in a 4D logo, let's select the meter ball. Let's uh, go to the coordinates tab and increase the Y to 1.04 and increase the Z to uh, 1.9 1. 1.9 and it's gonna take some time to load because it's uh, yeah just a lot of segments it has to work through and let's render this again so um, it's a little bit too skinny I think I guess let's decrease the Z to 1.4 let's try that 
Uh, that's a little bit better. Uh, let's decrease it maybe a little bit more. Maybe 1.35. Alright. Okay, that looks about right. About good. Uh, so now let's create another sphere again and this sphere just place it kind of on the edge right there so that's it's almost touching the edge and same here with um, the bottom and let's just drag it away to the side a little bit like so and uh, again select this sphere that's in the middle and go to object and increase the segments because uh, if you don't increase the segments it's not going to look smooth and if you render this again we don't get much but we get like a basic Cinema 4D R13 uh, shape and here comes into play the material just uh, drag it on uh, to the sphere right there and now we get blue material and let's create a white material so double click on the materials tab and double click on the new material and uh, change the color to white and uh, yeah I guess that's pretty much all we're gonna do and just drag it on to the outside layer or uh, yeah the outside layer Anyways, now we get uh, the colors the right way, and now we have to add the lighting. Uh, let's add some planes, some regular planes. So where you add shapes, go to that tab and select plane, and drag one downwards and a little bit forward, and uh, hit Control C, Control V and drag uh, the new one upwards over the uh, over our shape or our logo and let's create another material and let's select the luminance for this one and let's drag uh, this material over the two planes that we have and uh, let's select the two planes both of them at the same time Uh, right click on them go to cinema 4d tags and select compositing in compositing uh, deselect receive shadows and deselect scene by camera and now go to uh, render settings and go to effect and ambient occlusion and global illumination I already have it so I don't have to worry about it but go to effect and select those two and in global illumination go to area dense catch tab and put that st stochastic samples to low and record density to low that's if you're gonna make a intro but put the uh, both values to high if you are going to make an image because it's gonna make for a, it's gonna make for a better image and let's render this let's see what it looks like And I can see this being already better than the one that I made in the speed art because of the shape, the outside shape. It looks a bit more accurate to the logo. Wow, oh, no, that actually looks a bit better than the other one I made. So this is basically it. Um, I guess yeah that's I created uh, in the speed art I created a um, I created a sphere and I enlarged it and I made it really big and then I just added the white luminant material on it and yeah I just got a little bit more lighting around uh, my logo 
you can do that if you want to just create a sphere and drag the uh, the white on it and the white luminant material on it and then just enlarge the sphere so it becomes really big and you can't really make anything out of it <laughs> I'm not making sense <laughs> sorry for that but anyways uh, it's taking a little bit long to render I guess I'll just stop it yeah this is pretty much it guys thank you for watching excuse me I'm a bit tired so I sound a bit loopy but anyways uh, please subscribe please thumbs up the video and comment it helps me a lot uh, and I'm um, thankful for all the support that you've been giving me guys uh, it really encourages me to make more videos so thank you guys for watching and see you later